Welcome back, Commissioners. What we are going to discuss today is tips and tricks for dispersal draft. There's a couple of different ways that we can do it, but this first part will be building the Excel spreadsheet. You can then put it in Google uh, as a shared document that the league can draft on, or I'll show you another way that you can do it. But you're still going to want to start with an Excel spreadsheet no matter which way you do it. So first you go in and uh, go to Commissioner Setup and rename the franchises under uh, Franchise Setup and just rename whichever ones are open. So Open Team 1, Open Team 2, and Open Team 3. I've got three different teams in this particular league that will be in the dispersal draft. Obviously you can have less, you can have more, but naming them first and foremost and asking the other owners not to rename them until after everything has been finished. That way you've got good record of the rookie picks. It's much easier to load and unload the rosters and everything. So name them, open one, two, three, save the franchise information, go to the rosters tab, have an Excel spreadsheet, just a blank spreadsheet, open and ready to go. And scroll down until you get to the first one, Open Team 1. And I'm just going to highlight the players just on that one team only. Right click, copy, and then bring it into the spreadsheet in cell A1. Right click, and instead of paste, because I don't want the I don't want the, the uh, website format. I want to match my destination format. makes it much easier to read and see everything. And then if you just highlight these, you can double click and it will open up the cell to the max that it needs to be. So I've got the first team's roster in there. Click off of it. Go to Open Team 2. Oops, I did not mean to click on Brissett. I just want to highlight the roster right click, copy, bring it into the spreadsheet, the next available line, paste special, and there you go. And then the third team, I want to come in here, click off of that, and open team three is down here. Same thing. Bring it down, right click, copy, right click, paste special. Now I have all the players from all three teams and I'm going to get rid of these, just highlight, highlight uh, rows B or columns B, C, and D and hit delete. Now I have one column of just the players, but I want to be able to sort them by position and get rid of the IR designation and the rookie designation because that will mess up the load unload roster feature a little bit later. So click on tab on column A and then go to your data and go to text to columns, keep the delimited and then hit next. Then you want to click on space and comma and now you can see how it's going to put each of these into its own separate column. Hit next and then finish. And now we have separated all of these. I can get rid of the IR and the rookies, except uh, you have to be careful. First, let's now sort, go to data, sort, and we'll sort alphabetically by column A and hit OK. And now we'll get rid of all this other junk. The one player, we don't need those rows. Uh, we don't need the rows for injured reserve. And we're going to clean it up. We don't need the taxi squad. That should now leave us just players. And you can see that all the players are looking good. Their positions are all lined up except for Ted Ginn Jr. I need to take the junior 
and I do need to keep it. I want to cut it out off of there, put a space and paste it into there and delete this and shift cells left. So now everything is lined up. All of the rest of the players, if you scroll through and you look, all the rest of the players didn't have any uh, junior or whatever. And I can get rid of columns E and F by highlighting them and just deleting them. Now I have left the player last name, first name, the team they play for, and the position. If I click on the document, the top A1 corner, and then hit data, now I want to sort first by position, column D, and then I want to add a level and be alphabetical by position, so that would be column A, and then hit OK. Now I've got all my quarterbacks together. I can come down here and click on Amir Abdullah and just bring and highlight this entire running back group and I can cut it out of here and put it next to my quarterbacks and then I can do the same thing with my tight ends in fact I can just drag this if I pick this up from the corner and just drag it until it stops and then I can do the same thing for my wide receivers. Instead of cutting and pasting, it's a little bit easier. Just have to make sure everything is selected. And then drag it from the top. And then move it over. And then voila. So now we have a good database to start with. I'm going to highlight all of the rows, all of the columns, so that I can double click. And now everything is sized in column width. I can copy this directly into a Google Sheet to be able to use as a draft. I could even say Team 2 Team 3, whatever the draft order is Team 1 and then you can number the rounds. If you put a uh, apostrophe in front of the one, then you can drag this down. And let's say there's 45 rounds. I can drag it down to the 45th, and there's 45. It, it numbers sequentially. So now I've got rounds 1 through 45 and snake draft this person would end up let's say they take Saquon Barkley they can cut and paste and bring him down I'm not gonna mess this whole thing up I'd have to move team three over a couple spots and team one move them over here but people can cut and paste directly from this spreadsheet and they should you want them to keep the same exact format so that when you're done now you've got team two all listed right here and I'll show you why that's important in the next phase because we will use the load unload rosters to get these into the system some commissioners use the trade man that's a pain that takes a long time to do it if your owners are diligent about using the spreadsheet and they cut and paste or just copy from this list and then delete the player everything's in the proper format that's all that you need you're good to go one more thing if you want to bring the draft picks in because those are a tradable asset as well you go into four owners and hit trades you want to bring up open team one and trade with open team two we're not actually going to create a trade we're just going to go to see what draft picks they have. This one has their first, second, and third. So you just copy here and bring this into paste special. And because there was a little box there, we're going to shift cells to the right 
and that gives me the draft picks. And then I, I can go back, and this one has all three of theirs. It's actually easier if we highlight the little blue box, because then they'll all be lined up. Copy. And there's that. Then we can go back, and instead of Franchise Open Team 2, I can go to Open Team 3. And now I can pick up their rookie picks. Highlight the box. Copy. I, I'm just right-clicking to get to the copy screen. And then right-click and paste special to match the destination format. Now you've got all the players and all the picks on your spreadsheet. You can copy this into a Google Doc and like I said, have them cut and paste from this master list down below into their draft order as they're drafting. And when they're done, I'll show you how you load those into the teams.